Right guys, Monday night, let's kick off my meals for the week. This better be a quick one, I'm starving. What about you Charlie, you hungry? Okay, so I'm doing spag bolognese, well, I'm a bit disappointed. I've just been to Tesco's and they had no garlic. What's going on with the world? Anyway, so I've got some 5% um, steak mince, got some mushrooms, onions, passata, there's my spaghetti. So I've got some basil, oregano, I've got some mixed herbs somewhere, salt, pepper. Right, let's get this on the go. So let me work out the cost quickly. There was 69p, that was under two pound. So two, let's just say two pound 60. Well, that's next to nothing. Say three quid, 40 odd p for that, three pound 40. What did the onions cost? Well, it was about 70p for free. I'll tell you what, it's about four quid, guys. Four quid, I love it, I love it. Anyway, so I'm just sweating off the onions, mushrooms, with all the different um, herbs at the moment. Just getting it on the go. Right, guys. So we sweat the uh, onions off, mushrooms off, uh, done the minced beef. I've just added some passata. I might just add a beef stock cube to this in a minute as well. There you go, guys. Check that out. That's my dinner for tonight. I need a bit of parmesan on that. I'm not going to believe it, but this is actually a late dinner. I had to turn my dinner off altogether. Take the dogs with Lucy because Shannon's at work. Mmm. That is good. And Lucy wanted me to take it to Tesco's to get a printer cartridge, colour printer cartridge. So I've literally just got back now and it's 8.45 having me dinner. So that has turned out to be a late one. I'm gonna carry on eating this and uh, gonna get myself sorted out afterwards. I've got an early morning start tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be messing about on playstations or watching films tonight. It's gonna to be an early one. So we'll catch you tomorrow for Tuesday's quick meals of the week. Let's check out tonight's wonderful, weird, quick dinner after work. You're gonna love this one. This is a new one on me. So I'm having chips, baked beans, and cottage pie. Check the cottage pie out. Guys, check the price out, what it originally was. And have you seen the size of it? That is how big it is. It's called a Charlie Bingham's cottage pie. Never heard of it, but it means it was reduced from five pound to 125. I thought, I've just got to try it because I would never ever pay five pound for a cottage pie, especially that size. But I'm gonna to have to do some research in a minute on Google, stick it in the oven and see what's so good about a Charlie Bingham's cottage pie. For five pound, it should be good. Anyway, so what a cheap dinner tonight. One pound 25, I know, say 30, 40 P for the chips. What's that, 130, say 125, about 165 and 90p for the bait, um, Heinz baked beans. Another dinner, definitely under five quid. Let's see what it's gonna taste I like. I just honestly can't believe they sell a cottage pie for five pound, the size of that. Comes in a nice little wooden thing, so you can just put it all in the oven, which is quite good. Right, so this Charlie Bigham's cottage pie is tender minced beef, slow cooked with red wine and thyme, then topped with our creamy mashed potato, cheddar cheese, parmesan, and breadcrumbs. Mmm. Right, let's try it. I've had enough reading about it. Let's try it. Let's see how good it is. Oh, that is nice. I'm going to taste the red wine. That is nice. That is definitely different potato melts in your mouth but honestly guys I'd never spend for a little little thing like this little cottage pie like this five quid but yeah I must admit it does taste good I think that is when you get like you're going to our star buy cottage pie or going to Tesco's and buy their brand of cottage pies this is the designer one this is your Tommy Hilfiger 
cottage pie and it's only cost me 125 which is a result and I'm really happy right guys I'm gonna finish off this yummy designer cottage pie comment below if any of you have ever tried a Charlie Bigham cottage pie and paid five quid for it catch you tomorrow guys for my quick meals of the week right I've just got in and I'm proper cheating tonight I'm not making anything up it's literally gone seven o'clock so I haven't got time to cook so it's throwing the oven job I'll show you what I've got so I nipped into Tesco's quickly got a chicken jowl frazy actually it does look quite nice I must admit uh, peel of rice that was reduced was £1.50 71p we love it and a couple of naan breads for 59p what was this is this another dinner for under five quid again so we've got 350 £4.21 59p that's under five quid I love it I'm gonna throw that in the oven now um, oh guess what else I got myself well, all the time, I'm going in that cap, get me egg and bacon French sticks, and it melts up silly money. So I've got a French stick, which I'm gonna have a bit of uh, lettuce, cucumber, ham, and a bit of coleslaw on there, and that'll be my sandwich to take tomorrow. So let's get this dinner on the go, because by the time it's done, it's gonna be about eight o'clock. Guys, check that out. That's my lunch tomorrow. Look at the size of that. Look at that, does that look nice? Loads of ham in it as well. So that's what I'll take to work with me tomorrow. Do you know what guys, for a shop brought curry, this actually smells quite nice. Even the rice looks good. So there's the peel of rice. Here's the curry. Right, let's spoon it all up and see what it's like. I'll tell you what guys, it actually looks pretty good. So there it is with me naan bread let's see how good a tesco's chicken chow phrase is a fresh one not a frozen one actually it's not actually bad i mean the thing is with these curries homemade ones or bought from the indian can't beat them never as good but this is a good substitute if like me you're running late from work you don't want to do any cooking and just chuck it in the oven it is actually ideal the fresh peel of rice is nice so yeah all in all under a fiver for a nice ruby murray you can't go wrong right so hopefully tomorrow i'll finish a little bit earlier and uh, we'll cook something up quickly. Anyway, guys, I'm going to eat this now. And by the way, Shannon has not even started the kitchen yet. And the table's coming Sunday. So I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, guys, I'm going to eat this. I'll catch you tomorrow. Tonight's quick meal of the week. And I hope it is bloody quick because I'm starving. Chili con carne. Here's the ingredients. So I've got 5% lean mince. Garlic. Some fresh chilies. An onion, some mixed herbs, oregano, basil and that. Uh, tin of kidney beans. Tin of tomatoes and my rice. Right, let's see if we can knock this up super quickly. So I've got half an onion in there at the moment. Two whole chilies I've chopped up. A um, couple of cloves of garlic, some mixed herbs. And we'll get it going. Guys, I'm just thinking while I'm cooking that off quickly, this is another meal for under a fiver. So the steak mince was, if I remember rightly, £1.69. There was about 30p. So say one seventy, say £2. There was about 30p. £2.30. They were 69p. So say three quid. Uh, the basmati rice, we get four bags for a pound. So let's say, at the most, £3.50 for that. What a result. Right, so I've got all the mince, onions, garlic, chilli cooked off. I've just added the tomatoes. Guys, do you know what? This is so strong, I can feel it going into my eyes. I don't know if I've overdone the old chilies here now, but we will see. Better check the toilet roll situation in a minute. Well, I bet you could eat a bit of chilli con carne, couldn't you? Yeah, that would sort you out, wouldn't it? Right. 
so I've added the chilli beans as well I'm going like a turbo here getting this done because I'm that hungry so we've got all the chilli beans in that is smelling really nice right I've just left that simmering for about 10 minutes look at that that's good to go right guys here's tonight's dinner homemade chilli con carne and I want to show you the bonus thing about this. Now remember I said it cost me about £3.50 to make. Check this out. So I've actually got enough for another dinner. £3.50, I'm getting two dinners, £1.75 each. So I'll freeze that later on and that'll be a dinner for like a week's time. Happy days. Right, let's see what it tastes like now. That is hot. Love it with a couple of chilies in it. Can't beat it. Oh, blimey, that is hot. I'll tell you what though, guys, it tastes really good. Right, I'm going to eat this and get a glass of water. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Bye. Tonight's dinner, hopefully, will be a quick one. Only thing is, we've had a bit of a mix up with the fish, what Lucy got today. She only got me frozen instead of fresh. Anyway, here's what we got. So I'm having that tonight, four smoked haddock fillets. I usually get it fresh to be honest, but she went to Iceland, got it there, so we'll give it a try. Four pound for that. There's my potatoes for homemade mashed potatoes. They were 60 odd P, I think 62 P, and a tin of peas. So another dinner under five pound. What a result. Anyway, so those smoked haddock fillets, if they're okay, I might get them again because that works out pretty decent on the price. They're uh, four pound for four, so I'll have two tonight. Well, we'll see how big they are. I love to cook them in a bit of milk on a baking tray. Yum yum. Anyway, I'm going to do that now with uh, homemade mash peas, and let's see what it looks like. There you go, guys. There's tonight's dinner. Another one for under five pound. Nice fresh mashed potatoes, peas, and smoked haddock. Right, let's see what this uh, frozen smoke had it tastes like. I'll tell you what, I'll be glad when it's the weekend. I've had enough already. Right, let's have a look at this smoked tadic then. Doesn't look too bad. Mmm. That is actually quite nice. That is actually lovely. Mmm. Mashed potatoes, loads of butter and milk, can't beat it. And now I'm going to ruin my dinner, as some of you will say. Got a bit of tomato sauce on it. Anyway, I'm going to splash my tomato sauce all over this, and I'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. 